What we're going to look at now is a, a couple special examples of logarithms. One is the common logarithm and the other is the natural logarithm. Uh, these are special because uh, they're a little bit different than the other ones. So for instance if we had uh, log base 10 of 7, you won't really see this written too often when you're using logarithms. What you guys need to know is that uh, whenever you have a base of 10, we actually do not write a base. So log of 7 actually implies that the base of that logarithm is 10. So if you ever see a logarithm without a base written on it, the assumption is it's a base of 10. So there are a few assumptions you already know. 7's exponent's 1. The coefficient of the logarithm is also 1. So just another thing you need to know. The reason it's a base of 10 is because we have a base 10 counting system. And uh, one thing you also need to know is that uh, the inverse, like if I had the log of 7, uh, to get rid of the log of 7, the inverse is to exponentiate with the base of 10. So just something to know when you uh, see something like that. And then next we'll look at the natural log. And the natural log is basically the logarithm with the natural base. So for instance, log base e of x, what you're actually going to do instead of using log base e is you're going to use the what they call the natural logarithm or the log of the natural base. So when you see ln, it's actually talking about a logarithm with a base of e. And what that means is that if you have the natural log of something, say x, what you can do is you can exponentiate with the base of e to get rid of that. So in these two examples, this will cancel and leave me 7. This will cancel right here and leave me x. You can find these. Uh, these are the two logarithms that you can definitely type into your calculator. So uh, log of 7. And it will just type it in. Uh, natural log of 8. And you can do it. Uh, yeah, so log, some of these will actually give us actual answers. So log of 10 is actually log base 10 of 10. So 10 to what power will give us 10? And that answer is 1. Where if you're talking about the natural log of e, it will also give us 1. Because e to what power will give us uh, will give us e, and that answer, of course, is 1. Let's look at some real-world examples that use uh, both of these. Percentage of adult height obtained by a boy who is x years old can be modeled by that function right there, where x represents the boy's age, and f of x uh, represents the percentage of his adult height. Approximately what uh, percentage of the adult height has the boy attained at age 8? So what we're basically doing, you know, sometimes when you go to the doctor's office and you're little, they can actually give your parents an idea of how tall you're actually going to be. So we're just going to use this formula and see if we can't come up with uh, the nice little answer. So as you can see, what we're doing is we've plugged in uh, x for 8, I mean 8 for x, because uh, that's what the boy's age is. And then our answer is going to be the percentage of, the, uh, of his adult height. So we've got our problem set up. Now we just need to do a little math. Uh, we need to make sure we use order of operations. So I'll say plus 48.8, .8, and then log of 9. And then this will become just, oops, wrong one. There we go. I'm going to hit the calculator button. So I'll do the log of 9 times 48.8. And then plus 29. So it turns out it's going to be roughly, uh, we'll just round it up. So we'll say it'll be roughly 76%. So at age 8, you're roughly 76% of your adult height. So doctors can obviously use this along with things like your parents' height and stuff like that to help you predict how tall you'll actually be as an adult. Look at the next example. It says the magnitude r in a Richter scale of an earthquake uh, of intensity i is given as r is equal to log of i over i sub o, where i sub o is the intensity of a barely felt zero level earthquake. The earthquake destroyed San Francisco was uh, 10 to the 8.3 times the intensity of the zero level earthquake magnitude on a Richter scale. So we'll see if we can't uh, set up our nice little problem here. So it gives us i 
uh, it gives us i as 10 decimal 8, 10 to the 8.3 times the original intensity over the original intensity. So what's going to happen is those I sub O's will actually cancel. And then we're going to be left with R is equal to the log of 10 to the 8.3 power. Now I don't need to use my calculator on this one because what I know is the base of our logarithm, since there's not one written, is 10. And since we have 10 to some power, those are inverse operations. So those will cancel. So it turns out the Richter scale reading for that earthquake is 8. Point three. So uh, we'll learn a little bit later. We'll do some more studying on the Richter scale and how uh, the intensity of the Richter scale is uh, definitely exponential. Last example will look like uh, says this: dangerous heat temperature in enclosed vehicle. When outside air temperature is somewhere between 72 and 96 Fahrenheit, the temperature of an enclosed vehicle climbs 43 degrees in the first hour. The bar graph shows the temperature increase throughout the hour. The function right there models the temperature increase, f of x, in degrees Fahrenheit after x minutes. Use the function to find the temperature increase to the nearest degree after 50 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our formula and we'll plug it in. And see, uh, this is why we do not leave animals in a car with the windows up. Because apparently it gets pretty warm in there. So this time we're plugging in 50 for x. We're going to subtract 11.6. So again, becomes a calculator problem. So we'll say the natural log of 50. And I'm going to multiply that by 13.4. And then we'll subtract 11.6. So we get basically 41. So I need to put not equal to, but similar to. So 41 degrees, and as you can see, uh, the chart actually showed us that that would be about right. So apparently it's going to be, let's just make sure our answer models the temperature increase. So for instance, depending on what the temperature is outside, it's going to increase that much when you're in an uh, enclosed vehicle.